Now at this point, you can go ahead and solve the corners just like you would on a 4x4 four four, um, super cube. So let's kind of um, walk through that. Now it's a lot different from a 4x4 four four super cube because they're going to be mixed up and it's harder to match them. You can't just um, rotate them around using normal like pairing methods. You're going to have to use the cycle pattern that we talked about in the um, the 4x4 four four tutorial. And basically what that is, is you're going to be rotating, or not rotating, but cycling um, three pieces. You're going to be cycling this piece, it's going to come up here, this piece is going to come down here, and this piece is going to come around right there. So you're cycling it like that. And the algorithm is the connotator from the 3x3 three three, um, layer by layer method. But instead you're going to be using the inner slices. So it's little r away from you, u prime, little l away from you, u, little r towards you, u prime, and little l towards you. Now I will write the actual algorithm in the sidebar over there, not the little like away from you towards you, you know, I'll, I'll put like r prime, l, l prime, that type of thing in the sidebar over there. But that's basically the algorithm that you're going to use. And again, if you know how to solve the super cube, the 4x4 super cube, it'll be a lot easier for you. So let's go ahead and start. What you want to do is you don't want to try to solve all the pieces at once, or rather all one face at once. You want to solve kind of like groups of them together to where eventually you only have three pieces that are misaligned two in one layer and one in the other layer so let's go ahead and do that a little bit and I'll just kind of walk through this let's look for a piece up here that needs to come down so I'll start with this piece right here and again I want it in this top position because of the way that it cycles if I put it in any of these positions it's not going to cycle through so let's go ahead and find out where this needs to go. It needs to go actually, you need to go straight down. So I'm going to rotate this one like that. So it's going to come down just like that. So I'm going to do the algorithm. And as you can see, it matched it up just like that. Now let's try to get another one like kind of on the same um, row as this one. So I'll try to get this one right here, which is purple and yellow. And the purple and yellow is already there. Now. This is what I don't want to do. I don't want to pull this one up. That's going to be um, a bad thing. So what I want to do is I want to cycle it instead of, because again, I can pull this one down over here, but again, this one's going to come and this one's going to come up. And this one is already solved. I don't want to mess that up. So instead of bringing that one up, I'm going to just cycle this one twice. So I'm going to put it over here and I'm going to bring it down here first and then over there to its solve position. So I did the algorithm once. And now it's going to shuffle this one over here, just like that. So now I have an entire uh, row solved. <laughs> now I kind of want to do the same thing. Um, I'm, I'm going to leave those just like that. And I'm going to use these two spaces to kind of solve the um, top layer. I'm going to use these as like the cycling um, pieces. So here we go. We're going to do the same thing, just so flip it around a little bit and um, solve the purple layer. So let's go ahead and solve one that's on top. So we have the green and white here, and we have green and white here. Again, it's going to pull it down this direction. So just like that, do the algorithm. Okay, the next one is green and yellow. And let's actually try to solve one. Yep, so this will work because they're right next to each other. See, you don't want to solve ones that are diagonal. That makes it a little more confusing. So try to solve ones um, next to each other first and then do the last two. So this one's going to work out nicely. It's going to come down just like that. Okay, so here we go. Here's the algorithm. <clears throat> and there you go. So that one is now solved. And this is exactly what I was talking about. You have one piece that's unsolved and two pieces that are um, not solved on the other face. <coughs> so now, all we have to do is do a really easy um, cycle. This one's actually very simple. This corner is going to come over here. This one's going to come up. That one's going to go down. Really simple. Not too challenging at all. Again, we're just using basic cycles to shift the pieces around. And that's how you do these centers. Okay, so you should have your um, centers done now. Um, that's probably the most confusing part of the um, super cube 
and most people should be able to solve the 5x5 five five just regular by now. After you get the centers, really there's nothing more to the super cube than that. Um, so if you want to go ahead and try to solve the rest of the cube by yourself, that's fine, but I will go over the remaining steps um, in this tutorial. Um, so if you want to keep watching, that's fine too. But again, just to recap on how we did all the centers, do one of them, well, first of all, do four of them by yourself, um, just one, one at a time. And again, make sure that you're putting the pieces in the right way. You can either start them opposites so that when you um, swap them out, they turn the right way, or you can just um, put them in the right way, making sure that you don't accidentally switch them. And then you have to do the last two at the same time. You can't solve five of them and work with only this one piece because you need pieces to be able to cycle and you have to have two faces to be able to do that so once you get um, the last two faces you're gonna get the pluses first first by solving three on this face having an empty one up here then solving those two then bringing this one down as you wrote this rotate this one away and that one back up and then once you're done with that you have to get the corners again in order to get the corners solve two on one face flip it over solve two on the other face and use the remaining four to cycle through and eventually solve all of them if you need help on the corners um watch the 4x4 tutorial because that's i covered the cycle in depth there um in case i didn't do a good enough job in this tutorial 